go get him, Tiger. Goodbye. I'm so proud. Are you picking me up after? I'm waiting right here. Come on, she. Come on. Bye. All right, see you after. I feel like a mom who's trained her daughter to get every line right in the school play, and I'm <laughs> sending her off. You're gonna be like that mom in Mean Girls that's yeah. like doing the dance I need to have like a stage. velour, juicy pink <laughs> suit. Like, you got it, baby, just keep going. I know everything. <laughs> like. You guys look cute, y'all. You leather pants around. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, kind of What's kidding. up? How I love you? his face. Oh, it's coming together. Should I sit here? Yeah, you can go wherever you want. Well, thanks for coming in. Yeah. Thanks for seeing me. Yeah. So I last I time <laughs> I talked to you, you didn't want to work here. So why the change of heart? Um, my schedules at the time, I just, it wasn't a good option for me to take a real retail position. But I have been relying on my dad for money and stuff like that. And that's just no fun to be 24 and still relying on your dad. Yeah. So I was telling them that I was looking for a new job anyway, and Shannon was like, well, why don't you just ask Brittany if you guys can work, if you can work in the store with us? So I just figured, well, I want to be a part of the team too. So I mean, what are your long-term goals? Because I'm not looking to hire a girl for six months. I don't want to have a revolving door. Right. I mean, you know, the company is really small. Right. I want to keep it that way for as long as possible. Right. I want girls to be excited to work here that want to be here for the long haul. Yeah, no, and I totally am. The reason I'm like actually super pumped to get on the team with you guys is it's the fun place to be. It's the, the best place to be, I feel like, in Nashville. Yeah, but I mean, this being the most fun place to be isn't really reason enough for me to hire somebody. Yeah. Unfortunately. Well, I do think I could be really good at it. I have a lot of sales experience. Yeah. Oh, shit. I, I need to take this a little bit more seriously because maybe I don't have it all in the bag yet. Well, so I'll tell you, I have some reservations because it makes me nervous to hire Shannon's friends. Yeah. You know, I mean, I'm running a business. I'm not here just to hire everybody's best friend. I know I've worked with Shannon for almost a year now, and I know mm. my problems that I've had with her. So I wouldn't use Shannon as someone who could vouch for you and validate for you because I would actually think it's the opposite. I get that. I mean, I do think you'd be very happy with having me. Well, I mean, unfortunately for now, I'm gonna have to say no. Taylor still works for me. I mean, she models for Uncommon James all the time. She just maybe isn't a right fit in the shop only because she's best friends with Shannon. I just don't want little clicks of girls within the company, especially when there's been so much drama happening. Why do you look angry? <sighs> Please take me home. Are you serious? She said no. You're messing with me. No, I'm not. She said that there's too many issues with you. And Are you serious? She doesn't like that I didn't come to her first about wanting the job. That's so annoying. Yeah. Too many issues with me? Regarding what? Apparently you mess up a lot. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. So what do you guys think? You think I was too harsh? I'm gonna be honest, I think that if I were to choose, I would choose Taylor a hundred times over Shannon. It's tough for me because Shannon obviously already works for me, and so my loyalty is to Shannon. The good does outweigh the bad with Shannon. She cares about Uncommon James, and she's willing to work. I've really grown to love Shannon. I look at her as a little sister almost. She's really been with me and seen the brand grow with me, so there's there's more there than just some random employee that keeps messing up. And so I feel like I almost have this responsibility for like taking Shannon under my wing. But that is something we should have considered before I said something. I mean, I reached out to Taylor directly to work at the store. She could have even just texted me and been like, hey, yeah. I spoke to Brittany. You can't even just send me a text? That doesn't sit well with me.